Okie dokie. Welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while, but today is April 1st. A week from today is opener for Turkey here in Iowa. I had, I've had a goal, basically get one with the bow, but no blind, running and gunning. And there's a guy named Jordan Barnes, I believe, on YouTube. I'll link him down below. But he basically, all he does is run and gun Turkey, no blind, and he's damn good at it. And since now that I have an extra bow, uh, he kind of gave me the idea of basically turning this bow into a run and gun turkey setup. And that's what we're going to do today. So a couple new things I got this year is I picked up the Sika turkey tool belt or whatever. But I'll link this down below. And basically it just fits me better. One. It gives you that running style, gun style kind of feel to it. Uh, it's very, very, very light. And I'm kind of a smaller person in general, so it's just fits me better. Like a regular turkey vest is like a one size fit all kind of deal. And they're always just big and bulky on me. So we're gonna do that. I also have other things that I picked up for the bow build. Um, I don't think I have it out here. But I basically went to Walmart and I grabbed a bunch of uh fake leaves and stuff like that to basically ghillie suit the bow uh also already to begin starting off the bow build i already had to redo the center serving which i've already done that i'm probably going to turn it down some basically all right i'm gonna pull it back see what has got going on and then yeah i'm basically all i'm gonna do is use all the stuff i have laying around and basically turn this bow into a uh, running gun turkey bow. I'm also by myself, so hopefully, I don't really know how to use this camera, so hopefully it looks fine. This is also a new mic, so hopefully it sounds fine. So we're gonna get going on this, already the center serving. I think first thing I should do is, I have two, I have two rests. I have this one where it's, it's driven by one of the cables, but, it doesn't stay up or anything like that. It's just kind of, it's not limb driven. And I have two whisker biscuits. I'm kind of leaning more towards the whisker biscuit actually. So I think I might have to take it off of this bow over here and throw a whisker biscuit on first. There you go. So we're just gonna throw this on here. Maybe back it up a little bit. This one doesn't really have a any up and down adjustment, does it? It don't. That one does. This one does not, it looks like. Now we gotta do sight. I got three options for sights I can use. So I have this Trophy Ridge, it's like the single pin react technology one that I can use. Like I know sight tapes for it. Or kind of lean more towards a three pin, which I have this PSE one that came off of Brandon's bow here. I think I want to do more of a three pin just because I don't want to do much moving. And basically, these would be set in stone what they would be sitting at. So, I might do that. This one, this one, but this housing might be a little bit too big. So, I might actually use this true glow one I've got sitting over here. I'm pretty sure this is a sight I got back in 2018 when I originally got this bow after I graduated. So it's kind of funny how it's going back on here. So I guess I just gotta pick which one I want to use. But yeah, I'm gonna go with this Apex one just because the housing of this is much smaller. And I like a smaller housing anyways. That, I'm already used to shooting a uh, ultra view scope, so it kind of helps to not change it up too much. And then if, we, if I do end up seeing in a blind, I think I might just use the phase four regardless, just because it's probably be less bulky and it's a 20, I think a 29 inch axle axle. So I'll just be all around better for a blind hunt anyways. 
So that's all right. So we got the rest of the side on now. Next is going to be the stabilizer. Which now I got to find one. So I got this. It's a trophy ridge uh, stabilizer. And uh, we're going to use this because. As you can see, it's got some weight, and I actually have more weight too if I needed it. Needed it, but I think the two uh, ounces would be a okay. So I'm gonna throw this on. No oh, shit, it's stuck. Sweet. So that's on. That's basically all together. All I gotta do is throw in this peep sight, but I kind of pick it up real quick and see what it looks like. So that's that, like that already. So we gotta tie this on. This is already gonna be a little off. The weight of it's already pretty good, seems like. So yeah, I like that. This looks like it's fairly even already. I know these whisker biscuits are super easy to tune. So I'm not too crazy worried about it. Also, while looking for all the other stuff, I found some lighter knots. So I'm gonna run these. But they're a little bit big, too, too big for the arrow, so I'm just gonna sand down to plastic piece there and get it snugged in. Narrow them to use, just because since I got them, I might as well use them. Actually, I should probably check if they even work. So I'll probably do that. So I'm throwing this peep sight next, and then we'll tie in the D-loop, and then we'll be shooting the paper. And after that, it's just kind of cosmetics. I'm not sure how this thing goes. I'm assuming like that. And now we got to tie in this uh, D loop. I think that's the one right there. And it still hurts. Let's freaking go. Might add like a dab of glue to this so that way it don't fall out. But I don't think it's going to. Might be like not like spot on perfect, but it's definitely gonna work. So, all right, so let's put this in here. Put that there. We're gonna have some serving. Oh yeah, to reserve that center serving, I also had to go out and buy this $20 tool at Sportsman. And uh, yeah, it works fine, it works good. So I can now center serve uh, one more. Okie dokie. Now, burn off the ends. And that I did. Under. Nope, I did that wrong. God damn it. Screw it. We'll use this one for a different day. Just not today. All right. Grab a razor blade. Cut about here. Like that. Not cut my string. Usually I like to like squeeze it, make it as close and tight to each other as possible. And as I cinch it down, I'll keep doing that over and over until basically. There's no more wiggle room there. And basically, it just doesn't move. It's kind of set in stone. A little bit of a shorter side D loop, but I'll do. All right, D loop is on. P 
Peep side is in, just so I know I was correct. Uh, we got this arrow, it's good. Field tip. Okie dokie. Peep side's tight end, so I won't come out and smack in the face. I'm sure it's not lined up, but that's a okay. All right, I think we're ready to go. All right, this is the first time I've ever done center serving. Kind of worried about it pulling back, but. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, this piece side's off, bad. Sheesh. <laughs> Knock works. Also drilled the target. All right. Some minor things, not minor things. One, I got to get this piece of looking straight because I have no idea if it's even lined up. And then after I get the peep set on, I got to figure out how to mount a quiver. Which I have this one sitting around, but I don't know where the mounting thing is for it. Wait, actually, I bet you I got one right here. Because this is a trophy ridge. This is Buck James bow that I got to fix up. But for the time being, for the season, I could use this because it's a trophy ridge. Oh, yeah, I definitely can. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. I'll just throw this on there. Probably good. I'm going to be carrying around three arrows, too, so. Shouldn't be too bad. Where in the world did I put that cover? Oh, it's up there on the ground. Now I should just need to adjust this. We got some arrows right here. Looks like we find. I'm gonna have to raise those up just a tad, just a little bit, just because it's kind of setting just below this limb here. I kind of want it just slightly higher up. So let me do that. It's amazing how. Much the garage was fairly dirty before, now it's like super dirty, or just the stuff everywhere. But it kind of gets like hectic when you're doing a bow build. Three hunting arrows right here. All right, so that's on. Out of curiosity, I wonder how it kind of feels to shoot it like that, too. The cover on. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good stuff. All right. One last thing that we got to throw on this before we paper tune it because I don't want I don't want to paper tune it and then I add something to it and it throws the whole thing off. I'm not worried necessarily worried about the camo part of it because that's not gonna throw much off. But I want to create a bipod for the bow now to make one online it's like 70 bucks am i gonna pay that much no but i forgot there's a youtuber he made uh basically same thing he basically had the same idea so basically i had the idea of it and i looked it up on youtube and he just made it better by using arrows instead of like going out and buying rods which i obviously have a ton of extra ones so we're gonna do that so the stabilizer's got to come off And then we kind of got to do some like custom fabrication going on here.
I've already gotten basically this here, this plate. You can go out and buy one. There was a piece of uh, sheet metal that I had at the shop. So I just cut it into a little rectangle. Now all I gotta do is add some, um, I'm gonna use these arrows, cut them, and then use the insert side to basically hold them in here and uh, do this. So I just gotta find out what, what length I would want it at. But I'll tell you what, after this video, I have a much greater appreciation for people that come and film me. As in Tayson. But it just sucks because I got to move the camera and do this and make sure it's actually recording all the entire time. Check the battery and all that. So, all right, I'm going to cut this arrow. I'm going to see what that looks like. Okay, about there. <laughs> How we're gonna see if this actually this is a lot better. So we basically go here like this. Sweet. I was gonna go out and uh basically just listen for some birds on a piece that I went to last year, but it was just pissing down the rain this morning. So we're here. Building a turkey bill. All right. I think I want it out right there. Boom, that's in there like that. Now this has just got to rotate. And in a way. So now I just got to turn it. Which I think we'll use this. Like that. Now. Should be able to just stand up. Obviously there's, this is one arrow, so I might even bend it away, just, just a hair, bend it away. Let me get this clip out of the way real quick. All right, so now I just need another one for the other side. Crank this down because these aren't coming off. I don't want them going loose on me. Oh, yeah, look at there. Now we got a bipod for our bow. Hell yeah, that actually looks pretty freaking good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really happy about that. Check that out. I can stand there and basically the idea behind it is so let's we'll say this let's we'll say this this toolbox here is a tree I'm calling in on some turkey so we'll sit down like this and I basically have a bow right here sitting down I might actually need to turn this one slightly this way like that Just a bit more. Better this one should come back. Like that. Yep, basically like that. 
So now it's a turkey coming in. I'm basically gonna just have it sitting here. This is all the camouflage with a wrap of some sort, and I'll just be sitting here waiting, and then it comes be able to shoot like that. So that was basically the idea behind it. Yep, and that's this is also why I wanted that that quiver up higher so that way that clears any kind of ground clearance there. But yeah, look. That's what we got going on over there right now. Looking super good. I'm actually really happy how this bow is turning out. So that's all said and done. Now, I guess it's time to shoot through paper. So, okay. Shooting with the Quran, everything. Let's see how this goes. Looks like we got a left hair. Is it if it's the left you go you follow it or go the other way? I don't remember. I think it's the opposite. All right, try that again. That wasn't bad. I'm. I think afterwards too. I'm still going to tinker with this uh, stand a little bit too, just because it's kind of wide. I don't want that getting in the way of much. If it does or not, I'm not sure. Maybe I can find figure out a way to get them to like fold in, or fold up, fold in, whichever. Money. It took me one freaking adjustment. The other love whisker biscuits. No way. Look at that. So that's good. So we got this is the first one here. The minor adjustment. And a bullet hole. So that's good there. Now I'm gonna run inside and go grab the rest of this stuff. And now all we gotta do is camouflage it. I might actually mess with this a little bit real quick. Now that looks pretty freaking good. So, what I'm gonna do is turn this off. All right, so now I'm right back. Okie dokie. So I took a trip to Wally World the other day. I think it was yesterday, actually, maybe the day before. I got 100 feet of paracord, so I can make my own sling of some sort. Which sling most likely will be on this side. And I got those things there. So now, I guess I gotta, just got to figure out how I want to weave it in here without it getting in the way. I actually like the way this peep sight, the sight and everything is all lining up pretty well. And I got a bunch of zip ties that I'm going to use to uh, attach this. So these arrows can probably come off for now. I got two rolls of these, so I'm not sure if I need the second one. Now, dude, it hasn't it hasn't even added any weight to it. I can kind of see it's not really gaining away much. 
right now. Surf season is just a week from now. This is actually going to be super excited for it. All right, let's make sure this is not getting in the way. Like this, these leaves here are probably going to have to go because I can fill them up my hand. I don't want that messing up my shot. These sides lined up. Nothing's in the side picture. Oh my goodness. I think we got ourselves a running gun turkey bow. Give you guys a look at it real quick. Thing is looking absolutely sick, actually. Actually, really liking it. So, I got one more roll of that, those leafy stuff. I think I'm adding more down here. That way, I can kind of cover a little part of my body. Yeah, and the nice thing about this is this, I think this is a 34 axle, axle bow, maybe 32. But this works out perfect just because it's nice and long. And uh, especially if I'm shooting a low light, this peak being closer to my eye is going to help me a ton. But yeah, dude, that looks really good. But like I said, I'm shooting the paper one more time. With everything on there now, I'm adding some arrows to the quiver. Let's see what it shoots. That all, all it's really got to do is get uh, sided in. So, throw these in here. See how they look with the arrows on there. I don't think it's going to throw anything off, but it might. Yeah, I'll just like to make sure. I'll be damned if I get a chance out something and fuck it up just because I'm such a piece of game. So good. Let's go. Alright. That's said and done. Alright, so basically it's damn near done. I just gotta build the arrows real quick. As in to sand down the knocks for that. But this is, this turned out really freaking cool. I'm actually really happy with it. Yeah, so this video has been kind of all over the place, but here it is. It turned out freaking awesome. Uh, the only thing I really got to do now is add a sling to it. I'm doing it off camera because I got to look it up. And I think I'm going to make it, a, try to make it in a way where I can detach it. That way when I'm sitting down, I just take it off and then it's out of the way when I'm shooting. But, uh, yeah, this is how it turned out. I think it looks freaking awesome. Uh, makes me a lo lot more excited for the season, which is just right around the corner. And, uh, like I said, I'll link down below, uh, Jordan Barnes. I think his actual YouTube name is like Close Proximity. But you can guys go check him out because he does this exact same thing and he's really good at it. Find a zip tie. Let me cut the zip tie. And then for the stand, the bipod for on the stabilizer, or, there is a guy on YouTube who did the exact same thing. And he went a lot more in depth on how to, how to build it. And I'll link him down below as well. So you guys can go check those out if you guys want to do the exact same thing. But next time you guys see me, I should be out in the turkey woods chasing them. And then from there, I got a busy summer. I'm getting married, so... Marvin and all the guys are going to be trying to get out as much as possible. I'm obviously going to try to get out, but duty calls. But yeah, I just got some things to wrap up, wrap up on this. And then, yeah, it should be a, hopefully a good spring. So you guys enjoyed watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in Turkey Woods next time. Thank you for watching.